Hello, my name is Berkeley. I am a nuclear medicine technologist and I am also the owner of Elephant Smarts at nukemedstudy.com. It is an online resource for those of you that might be studying for your nukemed boards. It's great to go check it out. It's got flashcards, it's got modules, it's got quizzes. So go take a look. I put a link down in the bio below. So today's video is going to be about the inverse square law. Now, some of you may have already used that when you were in the radiology program before you came into nuclear medicine. It is when you were learning about x-ray physics, those same things are going to apply to the gamma radiation that we use in nuclear medicine. So what the inverse square law is, when do we use it? We're gonna use it when we are talking about ALARA or radiation safety. They've got three basic tools when you're talking about those. That's going to be time, distance, and shielding. Minimize your time near the source, distance yourself from the source, and shield when possible. That's going to be your syringe shields, your scatter shields, those sorts of things. Now, the inverse square law is particularly talking about number two, which is distance. As you increase the distance you are from that source, you're going to decrease your dose. But the trick is these are not proportional. If you increase your distance by a unit of two, you're not gonna decrease your dose by a unit of two. So let's get into it, I'll show you some examples. Your inverse square law states, your initial intensity divided by your end intensity equals your end distance divided by your initial distance, distance side is squared. You also could see this written as your initial intensity times your initial distance squared equals your end intensity times your end distance squared. So both of these formulas are going to give you the same output, They're the same thing just written a different way and you can use whichever one you think is easiest. So what we're gonna look at today is a very easy, simple one. We're going to say that our initial intensity is 100 millisieverts at a distance of one meter. Then we're going to try and find our intensity at a distance of two meters. So we'll plug it in. Our intensity one is 100 over x. Our distance is going to be two, because it's d2, your second distance, over your original distance, that side squared. And then just solve. We'll take 100 over x equals four over one or just four. Now these you can just flip, but I'll show you how we get there. We're gonna times both sides by X. That's gonna cancel out. This is gonna equal 100 equals four X. Then you're gonna divide both sides by four. That is going to take away your four here you're gonna get x equals 100 divided by four. And your x will equal 25 millisieverts. Okay, let's solve this same equation now using the second formula. So your original intensity, you're gonna have 100. You're going to times that by your first distance which is one, square that. You're going to equal that to your second intensity, which we're trying to find, your second distance, which is two, and square that. So one squared is one, times 100 is 100. Then you have your x squared, which would be four x, same thing, divide both sides by four, that one's going to cancel. You're going to have 4 equals 100. Sorry, x equals 100 divided by 4. And your x is going to equal 25 
Millie Sieverts. Same thing. Now I know that last example was super easy, so I'll show you one that's a little bit tougher, um, and I'll show you how you can just plug it in exactly the same. So let's say that our initial intensity is 2,750 millisieverts. Our distance is going to be to 4.7 meters. We're going to look for our second intensity if our distance was 12.9 meters. I'm going to be using this formula up here this time. So our intensity 1, 2,750. Distance 1 is 4.7. Remember to square. That's going to equal 2x of our distance 12.9 once again squared so 2750 if you square 4.7 it's going to give you 22.09 we'll bring down our x and if you square 12.9 that's going to give you 166.41 then just solve if you take 2,750 times that by 22.09, it will give you 60,747.5. Then you have 166.41x. We're going to divide that by both sides. It will cancel this one out. Your x is going to equal... 365 and some change millisieverts. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and come back later for some more videos. And also, if you are studying for your NukeMed board exam, don't forget to check out nukemedstudy.com.